Welcome to the Ari Booth at the IBC 2015. My name is Florian Bloch and I would like to show you the latest news in our portfolio on daylight business, especially on ballast. At the NAB a couple of months ago, we showed the first time the all new EB1218. So what it's new about is that it has a high speed capability. That was missing in our portfolio since we introduced the Ari Max back in 2005. During the last years, high speed really took up a lot and we received a lot of requests how and when will it happen that the Arimax can run on high speed. And high speed, saying that, I really mean high frame rates up to one, two, or even 3,000 frames per second. Now with the Ari Ballast EB1218 high speed now, this is the first time it's possible. Since NAB we provided, uh, we got a lot of information by several customers, whether they do it on a location or commercial suiting. They received great results up to, as I said, and I said again, 3,000 frames per second. So that was really remarkable and never seen before. How we created it, I will tell you in a second. But first of all, let me tell you and guide you through the standard, I would say, standard features. First of all, the weight and dimensions have not changed. I know it is already quite huge, but it's small for an 18,000 watt discharge system. In addition, it comes along with a function called ALF, Active Line Filter. That's for the power factor correction. It's very important for the power grid calculation and the power draw calculation to the generator you're using or even the grid which is used. In addition, it comes with a DMX functionality, DMX 512, DMX in and out. DMX, you can do two functions basically. You can switch remotely on and off, and you can also dim it from 50 to 100%. So all those functions are remotely possible. Of course, saying dimming and showing with the red knob, it's of course possible to dim it on the product itself as well. By the way, just a remark, all the red knob EBs indicate high-speed ballast. So whenever you see a red knob for dimming, you can be sure that it's a high-speed ballast by Ari, just to let you know that. Of course, we have also support operation safety, various LEDs giving you the information about the power which is currently drawn, so 12 or 18,000 watt. And in addition, we have, of course, an over-temp information, uh, overall power information, which means that it fits, uh, that it's switched on, and very important, protective earth. So those are all standard features. Now I said that is a high speed function. How does high speed come into the game now? It's very simple. Per default, it starts with 75 hertz. 75 hertz is basically what was known as flicker free. But again, flicker free is only for analog or low frame rates. So flicker free is not for high speed. Just keep in mind that one. For low noise uh, operation, we offer the first time a 50, 60 hertz possibility. That means this is a global ballast. No matter what kind of grid frequency you have, no matter what lamp frequency you would like to have, low noise, 50 and 60 hertz is available as well. But on top, and now this is the new feature, we have three modes for high speed. We have a manual setting. You know that from our standard high speed ballast. All that have a manual setting. You can do this with a POSIO here as well. But there come two new things into the auto man and auto scan. Now, auto man is a mix between auto scan and manual, so I come to that in a second. Selecting auto scan offers you the total freedom of lamp operation because it scans, determines, and operates the lamp at the perfect frequency without any user interaction. So you select the mode and you let the system run and do its job. It selects the perfect frequency after a scan. It selects this frequency without any resonance, so with a really stable R, creating no light fluctuation. And that is what you need to avoid any flicker, because flicker is based on light fluctuation. So saying that is, selecting it, waiting for a couple of minutes because its system scans the best frequency, 
within a range of 900 to 1200 hertz. And afterwards, this is set. It sets the frequency, but even on top, it also monitors the frequency and adjusts the frequency in, course, in case of rising resonances. So it's basically a user interactive uh, and no interaction necessary function. But if you rely on the manual setting, but if you also want to have an automatic adjustment, then out to man is the right uh, F mode you have to select. So you set the start frequency, and from this frequency onwards, the system monitors the frequency, and again, in case of resonances arises, so light fluctuation or flicker, the system sets the right frequency and adjusts it accordingly. And this is how to scan and how to man in the all new EP1218. So we, as I showed, uh, as I said, we showed that at NAB, and the resonance was really magnificent, really great. And a lot of people asked us, can we have that great function and add uh, this to the EB69? Now, this is what I show you here, over here. So please join me. I just showed you the new EB1218. As I said, the response was really great, and we got a lot of requests. And now for the first time here at the IBC in Amsterdam, we showed to you the all new EB69 high speed. You might say what is new about because there has been for quite a while a EB69 high speed. As I said, all new means in this case auto scan functionality. So high speed operation does not again need any uh, manual or user interaction. Of course, you can set uh, it manually you can set it with auto man also manually and let it adjust by the ballast, or you can select auto scan. And believe me, for all the tests we did, we had to see and understand and to accept that all the manual settings which we chose were worse compared to the results we achieved with the auto scan. So the best results, again up to 3,000 frames per second, we achieved only in auto scan mode. So this is a very comfortable situation. You don't have to think about it, but on the other side, you will get the, really, the best, brilliant, high quality, high speed image you can think of. Thank you for joining Florian Bloch at Ari Booth at IBC 2015. More information on www.ari.com. Thank you for joining.